Hey guys, welcome to HDM Tech. So if you want to use Linux operating system on your PC or laptop, there are three ways to do it. So I'm going to show you one way that is dual boot and the other two ways will might be covered in the next video. So now if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get notifications as soon as I upload a video. So the first thing you should do is backup all your data. Now this is not compulsory but I would recommend you to backup all your data. First you will need a pen drive of 8 GB space or higher. I would recommend 16 GB. Then open any browser and install Ubuntu. Go to the Ubuntu website and download the latest version of Ubuntu that is 20.04. Then go ahead and download Rufus. You can also download Power ISO and HR. Rufus is an application through which you can make your pen drive bootable. So just download Rufus. In order to boot your Linux operating system through pen drive, you have to make your USB or pen drive bootable. So Rufus will make your USB bootable. Then go back and open disk partition simply just search disk partition and here we will allocate memory for linux operating system now you should allocate minimum of 40 gb for linux operating system so you can see the c drive i'm partitioning on c drive right click on c drive and shrink volume then allocate whatever space available on your PC and at least allocate 40 GB of space. In my PC, it's just 42 GB available, so I'm allocating 42 GB and click on shrink and it will allocate a memory. Now you can see 41.38 GB of unallocated memory partition is created. Now insert your pen drive and format the pen drive. Just right click on that and select format. Make sure you choose file system to FAT32. Mine is default. If yours is not default then go and choose FAT32 and click on start. Go ahead and click OK and format your pen drive. Now open Rufus to make your USB or pen drive bootable. Click on Rufus and select run as administrator. Now you can see that Rufus has automatically detected your pen drive. So now select the ISO file of Ubuntu, the file which you have downloaded. Just click on select and go to the file location and, and click open. And you can see that Rufus automatically detects my PC's configuration. My partition scheme is MBR and my laptop boots up in UEFI mode. And go ahead and click on start button. Click yes and it asks to write in ISO image. Click on write in ISO image and click OK. And it says warning your data on the pen drive will be deleted. Just go ahead and click OK. And it will take some time to create bootable drive. Now once it's completed close it and close all the windows and go ahead and restart your computer. Now press F10 or F12 immediately after restarting to get the boot up screen. The key may vary from device to device, mine is F12, sometimes it may be F9 or F10. As you can see that in this boot up screen there are two options, Windows Boot Manager and USB HDD SanDisk. So go ahead and click on whatever USB it is showing on your device. So this is the grub screen and you just have to click on the Ubuntu. Don't click on any of the other options. It will take a while to check all your files and load up Ubuntu and your Linux operating system. So be patient and wait for it. And you will be directed to Ubuntu Linux operating system. For now I'm just closing this window. 
and you can see that we are on Ubuntu just go ahead and click on install Ubuntu just click English or whatever language you want continue and select keyboard layout now just click on normal installation and click on download updates and install third-party software if you want full experience type your password now here there are three options in first is install Ubuntu alongside Windows boot manager second one is erase disk and install Ubuntu and third one is for advanced users if you are a beginner I would recommend you to go ahead and install Ubuntu alongside with Windows but for this tutorial we are doing manual partitions so I'm going ahead and clicking on something else and here you can see many partitions so just go ahead and click on free space that is that is the memory you have allocated to Ubuntu so just click on free space click on the plus sign and create a root partition now I would recommend you to create root partition of minimum of 25 GB and the root partition should be logical now select the mount point of root partition just slash go ahead and click OK it will create a root partition where your Ubuntu will be stored the installation software or OS you can see your Ubuntu will be stored in the root partition now again go ahead and click on free space and click on plus sign now we are allotting a swap area here just in case your physical memory is full then your swap partition or swap area can be used now allocate swap partition half the memory of your RAM so mine is 8 GB RAM and I'm allocating 4 GB select swap area and click OK and it will create a swap area now go ahead and click on free space and plus sign now we are creating home partition so whatever the memory is left we are allocating it to the home partition just select the mount point as home and click OK and it will create home partition see before continuing it is asking for device for bootloader installation now select the root partition which we have made earlier you can see that our root partition is SDS7 so go ahead and select SDS7 if you will choose Windows Boot Manager or something else it will just overwrite all your all your data and your Windows data will be erased so just see which root partition is yours mine is SDS7 as you can see select SDS7 install now and continue select your time zone here just type your name your computer name and choose your password and select if you want to log in automatically or require p password when you log in I'm just doing login automatically and it will take a while to download Ubuntu in your device so be patient and wait for it now go ahead and restart your computer now while restarting it is telling us to remove the installation medium and then press enter so I have just removed my pen drive and press enter and as you can see that we are now loading up in Windows so we have not lost any of our data then just restart your computer again so now as you can see the grub screen is available for you this will just show up for the first time click on Ubuntu and click continue boot now next time every time you will boot up you will brought up to this scrub screen where you can select if you want to open Ubuntu or Windows so just go ahead and select whatever operating system you want to use and yes we have successfully installed Ubuntu in our device so now we can use Linux operating system or Ubuntu now if you want to know other two ways to use Linux operating system in your device do subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon follow me on Instagram and Twitter thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one